Hey everybody, it's Lucas, and I wanted to make a short little video about my HP U on U winning video. Um, this isn't really going to be a tutorial, but uh, I like would like to just show you some of the things I did to make the video. And uh, you can subscribe to my videos and uh, get to my Twitter 365 photo day blog and my website from my YouTube channel. Uh, so just head on over there or click subscribe and because uh, I've got a few more cool stuff coming down the line, I think. Um, so let's just jump into it because uh, tight on time with the 10 minute thing. I think one of the biggest things, uh, just a little hint of something is the rim light. You can see that kind of separates my arms from the background, which uh, the background was provided by my grandmother for a Christmas present. It's a blanket and uh, I'm very thankful for that blanket. It provided a nice backdrop. Uh, okay, the first effect is the high. <clears throat> um, and you can see the shadow on my shoulder. I tried to do the exact same uh, directional shadow as is actually in the frame. Also, this is the scribble effect. You can find that on like creativecal.net and tutorials on other websites about the scribble effect. And then to animate it, I use the uh, puppet tool. So for when it starts to do this kind of thing, um, you can see these uh, yellow dots are from the puppet tool. Puppet tool is up here in the left. And these are the keyframes down here that I uh, animate along the timeline to make it move. And these other elements um, are things I added in. There's a little spark on top of the fire for the I to go up. And uh, you can see the H is animating. And then I put in some uh, particular uh, uh, smoke and things right here. Okay, the next little effect would be the my name. And it animates on with a luma mat. Also, you can see that it has the same shadow that I was talking about earlier that matches like, you know, this is my hand shadow up here. Um, and, and so I needed to match that to make it look like all these elements are in the frame. Uh, the Luma mat is something that basically reveals something behind itself. So this video reveals what's behind it. And that is my name. And to do that, uh, track mat, luma mat, and it takes the the layer right above what you want to reveal, and it reveals it. Okay. Then I use the corner pin effect. This is actually a piece of cardboard that I did the corner pin effect on, and uh, you can see the corner pin effect up here on the top left. And I animated. You can see the keyframes animated along the time to match what the cardboard actually looked like. So I wanted to hold the cardboard so I had like a real element that would, you know, make it look less fake. And the biggest thing about this um, video are these masks. Everything that I did, I had to mask out and everything that I revealed with my hands, I did a mask on my hand and animated it away over time uh, with the movement of my hands. And so that's pretty much, um, those are the biggest uh, effects that are seen over and over. And the effect that I like the most is the thermal one. These are uh, ink elements that I turned upside down and added a tint to. I distorted them a little bit. And this is a spark element I just threw in there for the right when I snap. And the thermal, what I did was um, add I tinted it blue. These little circle elements are the particular element I added in. Um, you can see the Bezier warp effect I added, and that's these little toggles. And you can see that it distorts the image. Um, so once I did all that, I pre-composed it. So now I just have one layer and I get to play with that. And with that layer, I added all these effects on several coloramas. And I pretty much just kept messing with them until they look good. Added a glow to make it look a little hotter in these highlights, make it look like uh, it was hotter than it 
was. This uh, cloud effect with tracing my finger was done with the null object. Number one, trace the null, uh, uh, animate it over time to match where my finger was. Then parented a light, renamed to admitter, to um, the null. So now the light follows the null, which follows my finger. And when I make the particle particular layer, I say emitter type light. And then I just mess with the other elements to try to get the look I want. And as you can see, the particular plugin from Red Giant Software is pretty nice. It has the shading and things, and uh, this is the cloudlet particle in it. Okay, the next one is uh, the line is kind of lame. That's the scribble effect again, and then it explodes with CC Particle World. And I would suggest everybody go down and download the trial version of After Effects if you don't have it and just start playing with this stuff because it's uh, not as intimidating or shouldn't be as intimidating as it looks. It's pretty easy stuff once you get the hang of it. And everything I learned, I learned from online tutorials, and so you can do that too. Um, this is the same piece of cardboard again. I hid my right hand, um, or left hand, I guess, out of the frame with the image as I grabbed the uh, piece of cardboard out of my other hand, and then just did masks again, uh, like you saw in the other corner pin effect. And this, is, again, is the corner pin effect um, on that piece of cardboard. I just animated it and matched each corner to each corner, frame by frame. And I'm sure there's plenty of quicker ways to do it, but. That's how I did it. And this is the scribble effect again with a little um, graphic I made and the luma mat uh, transition on and off again. And then I tracked it to my chest, the little movement in my chest that I had. Everything else from here on out in the video is just pretty much the same thing. Tracking things, parenting those elements to the tracked nulls. The snow is particular or uh, CC particle world, I forget and all this other hand movement is just revealing from masks. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how I made $42,500. Thanks to you all for voting for me. And I just wanted to share a little bit about how I did it. If you have questions or comments, please make those um, below and video responses and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll have some more good stuff coming along. Thanks everybody, bye.